that's the kind of basic level of it, but the looping is, is what I really like about it. And of course you can change the key as well if you want to, press the flat side. <laughs> Welcome along to today's vlog. Just a very quick one. If you are here for the Anytune Pro video or just kind of just for that, skip ahead to here. If you're a regular vlog watcher, I've got some news to tell you. Yesterday we got a new member of the family. Hello. There you go. Close the door, Chelsea. Has she got pet balls? Yeah, close the shut. Uh, she arrived yesterday amy's pretty thrilled about it so it's great uh, to have a cat she does look an awful lot like the cat i used to have or the, the family cat at, uh, which now resides with the kid's mum uh, but yeah no really really nice don't know if she's into the saxophone yet she hasn't quite ventured downstairs yet the closest i've got her down uh, is just about midway through but she does seem to like the stairs but there's plenty of room in this house for her to escape to uh, she has to stay inside for the next few weeks but uh, hopefully then she'll be allowed out so i think it's day 30 or 31 of the uk wide lockdown today hopefully things will get back to normal soon or at least back to semi-normal we'll be able to go out and see friends etc uh, but what I wanted to talk about today was this app AnyTune Pro and I'm just going to bring in my uh, screen recording from the phone I am not being paid to do this video I am not affiliated to AnyTune Pro or the usual caveats I'm using this because this is an app I use a lot with students and so many people now have to have lessons online uh, via, well everyone does really, via Skype. I've spoken about Skype lessons before, way before the lockdown in this video here, but I've been teaching via Skype now for 10 years and it's kind of, this is the things that I've come up with. Um, and AnyTune Pro is a very, very good app. Like many apps out there, what it does, it, um, it enables you to slow music down whilst maintaining the pitch. But the beauty of AnyTune Pro is there's an awful lot there as well. Probably more than what I'm going to show you today. Probably more than what I'm aware of myself. Uh, there's the app I've mainly used for mobile has been the AnyTune Pro app or the Amazing Slowdowner. The AnyTune Pro app is much more like Transcribe, which is an app I use on the Mac all the time. I really, really love Transcribe. I use Transcribe almost every day. Uh, but AnyTune Pro is a great one because a lot of people are on mobile devices and it's often easier to have a mobile device in your hand. So what I've got in here, I've got Blue 7 by Sonny Rollins. I've got to be careful how much I play to you because I'll get done for copyright on it. But I want to just get, let's get the, um, let's skip forward. Here it is. So it's, there. Now the beauty is I can use my finger just to move across and then I can loop if I remember there. Why is it not looping there? And I can move the A section to here, the B section right next to me. Um, ah, I've not looped it in the right place there. <laughs> um, how do I zoom in? Swipe left or right for swipe. So I need to move a. Oh man. So I'm just going to take that little bit there. That's all I want. So what I'm going to do, move over here. Why don't I keep the playhead? The probably you want. Probably more of you know your way around this than I am. I thought I had this relatively down before I did the video, but never mind. <laughs> And I want to do pause it and then I want to slow it down. Take it to say 60, 
Now, of course, that's useful for transcribing. You can also use it for doing exam pieces, uh, for playing along with backing tracks, if you can't play the backing track at the full speed. That's the kind of basic level of it, but the looping is, is what I really like about it. And of course, you can change the key as well if you want to, press the flat side. And then down another semitone. Uh, useful if uh, you've got alto only backing tracks and you need to turn them into tenor backing tracks. A number of my students have had to do that over this um, uh, kind of lockdown period. If they're having a lesson, the only backing track either they or I have is of the alto. The ABRSM are really bad at that. Why issue tenor sax books with alto sax backing tracks? Doesn't make sense, but then a lot of stuff the board does doesn't make sense a lot of the time these days. You can also audio mark it so I can mark it here. So the start of the loop, mark there one. Oops. I've done that wrong, I've moved A out of the way. Ah, oh, damn it. Again, mark two, so. I can go through and clip up a transcription. I use that a lot on Cambridge Saxophone. If you're not aware of Cambridge Saxophone, head below for free video lessons there. I do that a lot for my students at Cambridge Saxophone where I take a transcription project and I clip it up into manageable chunks. So the idea is, is that you can then work along with those manageable chunks uh, as you go along. So that's the AnyTune Pro app. Highly recommend it. I'm not going to do an extensive review of it because most people, including me, don't use all the features that are in there. And I need, you know, I'll probably spend a bit more time. If you've got the app already or you've got other phone apps, I'm not interested really in desktop stuff or what, you know, using on phone. The primary thing that most people need it for, most of my saxophone students need it for, is to slow backing tracks down and enable you to be able to loop things round and round and round so that you can practice them, work on them as you go. One of the things I'm doing today in between teaching is preparing a, another concert for my Friday night is music night. This one I did last week was the Blue Note in Cambridge. This is a duo gig I did with Rachel Johnson at when Polly met Fergie, which is a place up in Peterborough. All I'm doing, I'm taking all the footage, slightly editing it together just so there's a bit more of a seamless transition. You haven't got the gaps between. If you want to see more of Rachel and I, we did a duos with Dan for my Patreon. So you can go into Patreon and like I've said before, I, most of my stuff I'm putting on Patreon now. It's two dollars a month. I keep saying this, but so welcome, so thankful that so many of you come on board. There's gonna be a new playlist on Patreon as well today, so uh, check it out.
just putting together my dinner jazz playlist, which will be on my Patreon page tonight. Uh, if you're not already a Patreon, 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 two dollars a month, less than that. Well, you can't even spend that on coffee at the moment. Um, put it in the uh, thing below. I'm posting a new playlist, not quite every day at the moment. Um, I'm trying to post you of at least 30 playlists. Maybe Boris Johnson is holding off on the lockdown until I've posted all 30 playlists, in which case I'll get them done as fast as possible. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for watching today's vlog. I hope you find the AnyTune Pro app useful. Of course, there are some other apps out there as well. The most important thing is to have the ability to be able to slow down music, particularly to transcribe it and to loop it around. I found that particularly useful. Don't forget to check out my last vlog here. This is what I was up to this time last year. And don't forget to subscribe, hit a like if you can, and I'll see you really soon.